Andy Thompson from Construction Cost Consultants is back to talk through some real life cases that show how much being underinsured can really impact our lives. Morning, Andy. Great to have you on the show Good again. Morning, mate. Now, last time you were here, twice actually, you've talked about the importance of having the right insurance. There were some staggering stats. So, for those yep. that missed it last time, what are those stats? So, four out of five people in the country are underinsured. Right. Um, their houses are, and that's that's a stat that comes from Treasury. And what sort of impact does that have on us? on our day-to-day lives? Day-to-day -day lives is that if there's a disaster and something happens, that means that we're not going to be able to rebuild what we've got. Right. So and it, it somewhat increases our premiums, don't we, because we're subsidising those that um, are un underinsured. That's correct. So uh, because four out of five people are underinsured, the insurance companies are having to put the premiums up to cover if you do a partial claim. So a partial claim is if there's a fire in your kitchen and it comes out to $300,000 and you're insured for $500,000. Now, it doesn't equate that a $300,000 for your whole kitchen and that side of the building would be insured for $500,000. So right. it's a lot more percentage-wise, so the insurance companies are feeling it. So they keep putting their rates up. Now, I, I love talking about this because I think it's really important. And you've actually got some real-life cases to talk us through. Yeah, I have. Um, there's some, uh, we've, we've been working on this since 2013, so I've got a few. I've, pulled out a few cases from 2013 right up to present Good. day. So you can see that it's actually not changing. Nobody's doing anything about it, right. which is the big worry. Um, and, it, and it's a whole big issue if something happens. No, you're right. Well, this is why you're here today, to help us through that. So let's take a look at some of these yep. cases. What so have you got? I've got, I've got a case here in um, 2013 in Otago. There was a house fire. They were insured for default sum which is the insurance-led value, um, which is a 160-square metre property. And the cost to rebuild it was $450,000. Right. Um, they only were insured for $368,000. Right, so that's a pretty big so shortfall, isn't it? 25%, 25% mm. short. That happened four days after the sum insured came into um, use from the insurance companies. No way. Yep. OK, right, so that's one case. What, what else but have you got? The, the, the difference for them to increase that insurance to become there was $1.65 a week. Are you kidding? Right. So, so $1.65 a week would have brought you up to that $450,000. Yep. Yep. OK, right. OK, what else have you got? So I've got another one, Central Otago, two house fires. Yes. Um, this one's out um, Queenstown Way. Um, two house fires, it was insured for 395000 Yep. Yep. Um, the cost to rebuild was 800000 Good grief. OK. <laughs> so um, this person was had a mortgage on this property, couldn't rebuild, had to go and plead to the local people to actually... So they got a local demolition contractor came in and helped him and demolished it for free, and he got a lot of work done for free, but he had to build a lot smaller than he had. Right, and this is the whole point of insurance. You want to be able to replace what you had. You exactly. shouldn't have to make compromises, should you? Yeah. And for the sake of actually, you know, getting up to that eight hundred thousand dollars, I would yeah. guess the insurance premium wouldn't have increased too no, much. No, I mean the average insurance premium for a hundred thousand dollars of a uh, premium. It's the first few hundred thousand dollars that cost the money. Right. And then for a hundred thousand dollars more, it's about seventy-five dollars right. a year. So what's out at less than $10 a month? And this is the beauty of having you in here, because this is primarily what you do for people. So yep. for those that haven't seen what costs, uh, what construction cost consultants do, can you take us through it? Yeah, we'll come out and we'll do a full survey on the property. We'll measure all the elements of the property. An element is um, any labour or trade that comes into the building, like timber, anything like that. So we'll come out and measure all that. And then we'll give you a full elemental breakdown of the building. We'll cost it all up, and that's really what you're... And it's based on current construction market rates. Right, and then you give that report to the client as well as yep. the insurance company, well, we'll just so everyone it to, knows. It's just the client we'll just give the it client, to. So yep. whoever pays us as our client, and it's generally the homeowner that will bring us in, so they own that report, so they can go and give it. They're better giving it to their broker and the broker can decipher it and then go and negotiate with insurance companies. Peace of mind. OK, and you've got a deal for people too, just before you go. Yeah, we've got a deal that anybody that was involved in Kaikoura or um, Edgecombe, we're going to do a deal that we'll give you a free QS survey, uh, which is one of our guys coming and assessing the damage that's been carried out, or the damage that's happened, and we'll tell you how much that, that cost's going to be, and we'll also do uh, tell you how much your house should have been insured for. 
Brilliant. Okay, well, that is a fantastic offer, and I really want you to take advantage of that. Uh, so if you are keen, just head along to, you can go to costconsultant.co.nz, or you can text HOUSE to 244. Thank you so much, Andy. Always a pleasure. Saving the country with our insurance. I love it.